The music festival known as Tommy Stock offered a full weekend of music, food, and fun while also acting as a fundraiser. The streets of downtown Lake Orion were closed as classic cars, muscle cars, and hot rods lined up along Flint and Broadway. Local business leaders had an excuse to get out of the office on a perfect summer day during the Chamber's annual golf outing at Pink Creek Country Club. And one local organization thanked veterans for their service with a barbecue and picnic in Oxford. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. And I'm Lexi McKinney. We'll have those stories and so much more on this edition of ONTV News. With Orion Township's weekly concerts at Wildwood and the DDA's Lake Orion live concerts in the village, there's no shortage of live music performances to enjoy all summer long. Recently, residents were invited to come out to a weekend-long music festival that also acted as a major fundraiser. The annual music festival known as Tommy Stock kicked off on Friday, July 26th and offered live music, food, and refreshments all weekend long. Eight different bands performed at the Fire Bowl on Friday and Saturday, while DJ Rolling Rock provided the entertainment at the Tiki Bar near the beach at Tommy's Lake. So really the setup out here begins on Thursday. The friends of Camp Agawam do such a great job setting up, so that was Thursday. Friday rolled around and it was time to get the show going, so we had the first bands on Friday night, which was such a good success. There was so much to do here all weekend. There were vendors, there were food trucks, there was the music, there was the tiki bar. You could be anywhere. The electric agawam was up there too. So if you liked electric music or you like silent disco, we had that too. The annual event is organized by the Friends of Camp Agawam and all money raised goes toward making improvements to Camp Agawam. So all the money raised at Tommy Stock goes right back into the camp. So the railing that we talked about, the rocks, all of the safety things, we're looking at some additions and some special things coming out here in the coming years. So all that's how we fundraise for it. On Saturday night, the always popular band known as Air Margaritaville took to the stage. The Jimmy Buffett tribute band packed the Fire Bowl and the Deer. We played last year at a great time. The stands were all full here right up to the top of the hill. It was wonderful, a wonderful experience for us and we're happy to be back. It's a real thrill for us. The weekend wound down on Sunday with Boobs, Tubes and Dudes, a fundraiser that kicks off the Real Men of Orient campaign to raise awareness and money for breast cancer research and support. Visitors took part in a 50-50 raffle and enjoyed food, drinks, and a live performance by the duo known as Kishlicious. This is it. This is our kickoff event for the Real Men of Orion. Uh, it starts our fundraising campaign for the American Breast Cancer Society. This is our kickoff event. We're glad to have you here. I think the biggest thing is to bring attention to the cause, um, obviously to raise money and awareness for, for breast cancer research and, and fundraising, but um, it's just to get the community involved. And, and it's amazing when you start, you know, maybe in 20 minutes you'll start seeing people walking down with big fl pink flamingo floats coming down here and jumping in the water and we get a big picture with everyone in the water. It just it's this Lake Orion community is amazing is. And, and how how much they come out and support this. I mean, we see a lot of familiar faces and then we have different events throughout the throughout the campaign that brings in new faces. So, you know, we have golf outings, we have parties at, at, at our houses, we have um, um, karaoke nights and stuff like that. So we do all we try to we try to instill fun into all the fundraising that we do. So the money will go towards breast cancer research as well as services. Uh, for cancer patients and caregiving um, caregivers. Is, um, for instance, we have our 24-7 line. Let's say you're diagnosed with cancer today. You don't know who to talk to. You don't have support. Finally, at 2 a.m. in the morning, you think, I need to talk with someone. We'll connect you with someone that's going through the same thing as you're going through, as well as provide all the resources you need to make you feel comfortable. It was announced on Facebook that the Boobs, Tubes, and Dudes event raised $3,400 for the cause. This gives the Real Men of Orion a nice head start on their fundraising efforts as they look ahead to October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
Search for Real Men of Orion on Facebook to keep track of upcoming fundraisers. The summer car cruise season is in full swing, and believe it or not, the Woodward Dream Cruise is just a few weeks away. Here in the Orion area, you can find a car show almost every day of the week. Recently, there were several car shows that raised money for some great causes. On Sunday, July 28th, the Kids and Cops Charity Car Cruise was the place to be with the streets of downtown Lake Orion filled with family, sunshine, and of course, car galore. Every year, Galling Buick GMC partners with the Lake Orion Police Association to make this event possible, with proceeds generated from donations and a 50-50 raffle going directly towards the Kids and Cops events that will take place throughout the school year at Blanche Sims Elementary. So today is Kids and Cops. This is another one of our car shows. We've had at least eight or nine of these in a row now. Uh, we're very, very happy to partner with Galling GMC. They've been a great partner to us. Kids and Cops supports uh, one of the many things that uh, the Lake Orion Police Association does. We do shop with a cop during the holidays. Uh, we are also a benefactor for a lot of the things that the reserve organizations needs. This specific event, though, goes directly to, uh, it's called Kids and Cops. So we go play basketball and eat pizza with the kids during the school school year a couple times in June or excuse me uh, January February March when it's cold outside so we go hang out with them cops are people too uh, the kids get to ask us questions we get to play ball with them and it's a great time so uh, we host 60 70 80 kids sometimes at a night and we do about three or four of those through the winter time classic cars and muscle cars line the streets of Broadway and Flint thanks to cruisers who offer their time and donations to make the day extra special multiple vendors including cruising media and almost the entire police department also attended the cruise and thanks to the beautiful weather this year's event had a record-breaking turnout in addition to the downtown Lake Orion area offering cars from all over Oakland County a special pancake breakfast was offered to everyone attending the fundraiser to kick off the show well, I'd like to thank uh, Golling Buick GMC, who I work for, um, for putting this on. All expenses are paid by Golling's and Johnny Black's restaurant. They did the uh, breakfast this morning, and they provide stuff for the breakfast. So I would like to thank those two in particular, and uh, the Lake Orion Police Department and their reserves. Without these reserve officers, there wouldn't be any events down here. They do a lot of things behind the scenes that people don't know about. You know, what's so great about it is that we almost, almost don't have to ask, except for advising on what date we're going to do it. These folks are ready to go, and they're such a, uh, just a big adder to what we do. Uh, cruising gets the word out. Gowling gets the word out. Obviously, the vendors here help out and make it a great day for the car enthusiasts. Uh, so um, it's not quite fire and forget yet, but folks are very, they very much know when we're doing it, and uh, they're very happy to participate. One week earlier, Cars and Baseball came together for a fundraiser that allows kids with special needs to play ball. I have to say, it doesn't get much more American than that. On Saturday, July 20th, Gollum Buick GMC hosted their first car show of the season at Friendship Park near Miracle Field. Dozens of classic cars and muscle cars were on display in the park, with any money raised going toward Miracle Field. There's no entry fee. We just ask for a donation. Um, it's, it's, we think it's better that way. We like to do it. I think it's, it makes a, the guys feel like they're contributing to Miracle Field. And we like doing it here uh, because we encourage the drivers and their families that are here to go watch these kids play. They're amazing athletes. While the car show was going on, the first of three games got underway at Miracle Field with the Oakland Athletics taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Number one thing is fun. I mean, these kids are out here having a great time playing baseball on a field made for them, uh, specifically for them, and everyone with them is, uh, is having fun too, but I also see a lot of community building, which is a really important part of this. Let's hear it for Jackson Gall, inside the park home run. The Miracle League season began the first week in June with games taking place every Saturday through August. Fundraisers like the Gollum Cart Show help these athletes enjoy the thrill of playing baseball in a barrier-free environment. We appreciate Bill coming out with the Galling team every year. He's been a tremendous support for us. Um, the car show has been a big joy. Last year we got rained out. It was a real disappointment, but the sun shined really bright for us today, and it's just an awesome day out here. He brought Tootsie the Clown out here doing wonderful balloon art for the kids and our, our team, 
and um, they'll be back again. They're, they're coming back again to help us. They will be throwing a lot of um, things our way for our Halloween party at the end of October. So Galling is a great friend to the Miracle League and we appreciate them. Registration is taking place right now for the fall ball season, which begins in September. The season runs six weeks and ends with an award ceremony and party on October 26th. For more information, visit michiganmiracle.org or search for Miracle League of North Oakland on Facebook. Throughout the year, the Orient Area Chamber of Commerce hosts numerous networking events for its members. Recently, the Chamber hosted its largest fundraiser of the year while giving business leaders an excuse to get out of the office and enjoy a beautiful summer day. On the morning of Monday, July 22nd, 100 golfers arrived at Paint Creek Country Club for the 9th Annual Chamber of Commerce Golf Outing. Following breakfast at the clubhouse, the golfers headed out at 10 a.m. for a shotgun start. The sold-out event involved 220 different businesses and was months in the making. I'm fortunate, super fortunate, to have an amazing uh, operations manager, Jillian. She makes us look really good with all of our signage and branding and whatnot. And then our sponsors I've been working on for months, actually since January, to get uh, sponsors. We were sold out in sponsorships, and we were sold out with uh, 100 golfers about six weeks ahead of time. So, um, you know, the things that we're hearing today, everybody's just having a great time. It's kind of late back. It's a beautiful day and everybody is just happy to be, you know, out on the golf course instead of in the office. Throughout the day, participants took part in raffles and contests. Lunch was provided and sponsors offered fun activities at several holes, including a hole-in-one contest. I mean, the chamber is awesome to work with. They do a lot of great things in the community. Um, just being here at this beautiful golf course is another benefit, but um, everything that we've done with the chamber has gone off without a hitch. They always do something great, so we're just happy to be here and be a part of the, the event today. So we're doing throw for dough. Uh, everybody gets uh, two, two bags. They get a chance to go into the hole. If they get it in the hole, then they will be entered in to win a $100 Visa gift card with us. Yeah. The event came to an end with dinner, raffle prizes, and it was announced that the team made up of Chris Barnett, Dan Kelly, Sam Ashley, and Jim Stevens came in first place at 18 under par, claiming the coveted Chamber Golf Outing Trophy. Not only is the event the Chamber's largest fundraiser of the year, it also acts as a networking opportunity for participants. We try to raise funds just basically to keep the chamber doors open. Everything that we do has to kind of bring in some sort of fun so that it can keep our employees happy, keep a roof over our head, keep the lights on, and also to continue the important programming and networking opportunities that we offer through the chamber. So it helps fill, um, you know, helps fill our budget. But I think more than anything, it just promotes camaraderie. Again, we have 41 unique businesses out on the course today out of the 100 golfers. There's 41 different businesses. And so this year we did put an insert into our uh, official golf program that lists all those businesses in case somebody said, oh, who was that, you know, who was in front of me or who was that wasn't that was in back of me or who did I sit with at dinner so that they can continue to network it off the course as well. The Chamber's State of the Community luncheon is planned for Thursday, October 3rd. For more information, visit OrionAreaChamber.com. In addition to networking opportunities, the Chamber has been hosting ribbon-cutting ceremonies almost on a weekly basis. Lake Orion's newest business focuses on getting you in shape. On Saturday, July 27th, members of the Chamber of Commerce were joined by family and friends to celebrate the grand opening of D1 Training Lake Orion with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. One, two, three. D1 Training! It means uh, amazing. It's, it's tremendous support that we have from all of our friends and family. Like she mentioned during the opening, um, to have the support of them and the tears and the emotions that came through all of it. Uh, but to see the people come out and show us the love and support for us, it, it truly means a lot to both of us. Located at 1216 South Lapeer Road in the Orient Marketplace Shopping Plaza, D1 Training is owned by Demetra and George Bulos and offers a variety of fitness opportunities for those of all ages to enhance their well-being and provide assistance while helping people achieve their fitness goals. It is a local family-owned franchise. Um, it was founded by a gentleman named Will Bartholomew who had a injury in, his, um, in a no-contact drill during his preseason with the um, with Denver, 
and he, he went home to recover from his injury and had nowhere to train. And um, that's when D1 was born. D1 Training is a family-oriented center with trainers offering workout routines designed to fit each individual's needs and the equipment to offer well-rounded programs. So we opened our doors on June 10th, um, so we've been open for just over a month. Um, and it was kind of a no-brainer for us. We knew we wanted to be in Lake Orion. This is our home, this is our community, and the athletes that are within our community really inspired us to, to open this business. And so, um, first and foremost, it was most important for us to be here. This is our home. For more information, you can call 248-814-2354 or visit d1training.com. Just a few days earlier, the Chamber celebrated the newest business to set up shop along Brown Road, which has seen a lot of development in just a few short years. On Thursday, July 25th, representatives of the Orient Area Chamber of Commerce gathered at Texas Roadhouse on Brown Road to celebrate their official grand opening with a ribbon cutting. Visitors enjoyed live music, games and activities for kids, and their legendary roles in cinnamon butter. It's important to Texas Roadhouse just to be in general involved with your community. There's nothing better than just giving back. I mean, it's like if you're going to be a part of a community, be a part of the community. Don't just, you know, you're not, you're not just here to be here. You're here to help the community and grow and have everybody help and grow. So that's what we're doing. The first Texas Roadhouse location opened in 1993 in Clarksville, Indiana. As of May 2024, there are 620 locations in 582 cities. The Orion Township location opened its doors on December 4th, 2023. Managing partner Jake Winnegar talked about what makes Texas Roadhouse special. You mean besides the bread and the butter? <laughs> I mean our hand cut steaks that are made from scratch sides, you know, our ribs fall off the bones, you know. We got ice cold beer, legendary margaritas, what more could you want? We're a people first company that we, I mean, we just happen to serve steaks, so like we try to take care of our people and, uh, you know, do the best that we can by them. You know, we have a lot of programs for our people. We have. Uh, um, stuff that we're doing for, we have some, some people that don't speak English and we have programs to help them learn English. We, um, we have uh, different programs that help with if people have uh, financial hardships or whatnot, so we help, we help them with those, you know, whether it's, you know, you lose your home or you're in a car accident or something like that, you know, we have different, different uh, opportunities and outlets for them to connect through and get money and get financial support and the needs that they, the needs that they have. Texas Roadhouse is the latest business to open its doors on the Orion Township side of Brown Road. Township Supervisor Chris Barnett talked about the financial benefit of having developments on a once vacant parcel of land. Let's go back to 2016. This side of Brown Road, our borders, Auburn Hills is to the south, we're, we're the north. It was blight. Literally there was zero businesses, there were some landscape businesses, no disrespect to them, but nothing that was drawing people to our community. And what we heard over and over and over was we didn't have the infrastructure to support it. This was a three-lane road. So uh, we sprung into action, we created the Corridor Improvement Authority, which was a unique tool, a tax capture, didn't raise anyone's taxes, but it allowed us to capture taxes on future investment, which we're standing on one of them right now, to allow us to widen that road to a five-lane road. The second we did that, Menards was the first business that came, which was amazing. And ever since then, it's been kind of this awesome domino effect. Um, we're standing at Texas Roadhouse. Who doesn't love Texas Roadhouse? The rolls, I said it a few minutes ago, but I think I have 11 pounds of rolls on me collectively in my life because I can't eat less than seven, all right? But anyway, well, maybe we'll edit that, maybe we won't. But so, listen, Culver's, uh, Texas Roadhouse, three hotels planned for back here. Incredible, national flags, Marriott flags, which we are thrilled about. Um, we only have two hotels currently in the township. Hyatt House is about ready to open just uh, to the east, or sorry, to the west of us toward Baldwin. But this, we have seen so much activity and excitement. We have some new businesses that I cannot disclose yet that are gonna be coming to the east of us and to the west of us. Uh, and the roads will be finished this year. So this is a great time to be in Orion and we're seeing some amazing benefits of uh, the thought, the forward sight of the board from eight years ago happening right here in 2024. For more information or to view their menu, visit texasroadhouse.com and click on locations. You can also find them on Facebook. How do you say thank you to the men and women who risked their lives defending our country? Of course, there's Veterans Day in November, but recently one local organization wanted to thank our veterans by hosting a fun event in the middle of summer. On the afternoon of Saturday, July 27th, the Lake Point Veterans Ministry 
hosted their annual Veterans Barbecue and Picnic on the grounds of Lake Point Community Church in Oxford. Now in its 60th year, an estimated 400 veterans and their family members enjoyed food and music on a perfect summer day. 14 vendors were located throughout the grounds and there was even a prayer station. We can do this because of our volunteers and from our generous donations from, uh, we do a fundraiser and then we get generous donations from community members. We were blessed to have this property. It was um, purchased quite a few years ago and it was uh, like summer camp for children in Detroit to come up here and um, and then uh, finally the church bought the grounds and, and um, it's almost like God's paradise. We have a lake here, we have woods here, we have uh, boating and, and stuff like that and a pavilion. People could, you know, cook out here and families come during the week. So it's just a true blessing to have this place, God's property and providing our church and everyone. It's all open. It's open to everyone. Organizers told us it's just one small way to say thank you to those who have given so much while serving this country. As a veteran myself, I think it's really awesome that we get recognized for what we do. Uh, there are so many veterans that didn't get recognized, so we like to honor veterans just because of what they've done for our country. I think it's important to remember, to remember the reason why all this is coming about, why we do have Veterans Day, why we do have Memorial Day, respect the men and women that never were able to take off their uniforms, where Veterans Day is the men and women that have had an opportunity to do that. So it's, it's a matter of respect, a matter of remembrance of the fallen brothers and sisters that gave their lives for this country. Um, it is extremely important, never to be forgotten, never to be left behind, always to be remembered and be in our heart. Lake Point Community Church is located at 1550 West Drainer Road in Oxford. For more information, visit lakepointcc.org. Memorial Day, Flag Day, and the 4th of July have come and gone, and if you keep your flag out year-round, it might be getting a bit frayed around the edges. If that's the case, keep in mind that there's a dignified way to retire the flag that you've probably displayed at your home. On Saturday, July 20th, the Orion Veterans Memorial was the site of a flag retirement ceremony. Representatives of VFW Post 334 and the Memorial Board were on hand to properly dispose of approximately 200 flags that have become tattered and torn after years of use. This is a very solemn ceremony that we try to do every year during the summertime where we have a collection of the flags to give them a proper disposal. We call it a flag retirement because these flags mean a lot to us and the only way to properly dispose of a U.S. flag is by putting them in the fire and burning them. We had a new issue brought up this year that we are only burning cloth flags. The nylon flags and plastic flags were taken and later we're going to dispose of them. We cut out the square of stars and once it's separated from the flag, it's no longer a U.S. flag. Then we dispose of it and bury it. If you have a flag that shows signs of wear and tear, don't throw it in the trash. There are several locations in the area that will accept your flag to give it a respectful and dignified retirement. Well, if uh, you live here in Orion Township, here at the Orion Memorial Center, we have a, a barrel that you can put them in or a box that you can put them in, and we'll take care of them ourselves for you. That's what we're doing today. A lot of these flags were donated throughout the last couple of years. It's the first one we've done since uh, COVID. Uh, it's put on by uh, the VFW Post 334, North Oakland Post, and um, we're with the Orion Memorials Committee. We're here to assist them today. Orion Township purchased this parcel of land from the Michigan Department of Transportation and broke ground almost 30 years ago. The Veterans Memorial has grown over the years and has become a community gathering place on Memorial Day and Patriot Day on September 11th, as well as special events like this flag retirement ceremony. It's a real honor to do it here because this is one of the most uh, beautiful memorials that you'll see and to be able to do it here today is uh, quite uh, an honor. To make a donation or for more information, visit OrionVeteransMemorial.com. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. And I'm Lexi McKinney. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.